Former Minister of State and Cayo era Rep. Elvin Penner faces charges of manslaughter following a fatal traffic accident last Friday on the George Price Highway in the vicinity of running W Meets. The RTA occurred around 6.30 p.m. as he traveled to San Ignacio. The vehicle he was driving hit 41-year-old Kenrick Maivet, who was traveling on a motorcycle in the opposite direction. The impact sent the Unitedville resident to the pavement some several feet away from the collision. A severely injured Maivet was rushed to the Western Regional Hospital and then to the KHMH, but succumbed hours later. He was driving his dark green Ford Excursion vehicle, license plate CYC 28530, on the said highway, traveling in the direction of Brown Palm to San Ignacio Town. Upon reaching in front of running W, Meet. He saw a red color minivan traveling ahead of him at a slow pace. He began to overtake the minivan and while switching parallel to the van, he saw a motorcycle coming in the opposite direction. He swerved to his right to avoid a collision. As a result, he collided into the left side of the red minivan. And the motorcycle rider collided into the left front portion of his vehicle. Within minutes of the RTA, the family was notified by a man who stopped to render assistance. I call my mommy and I ask her, I say, Ma, I say, I call my son and law, I call my daughter to find out the what. Because then just send what is on my phone. So I return back the call and I talk to my mommy and when I call she, like after eight, I call she, and I ask her, I say, Ma, that what happened? And she start to cry. She said, Bryn, say, can you just catch me in an accident by running double? And I bust out a ball because I say, why am I here, brother? You don't hurt nobody. You don't do nobody, nothing. According to Deputy Commander at the San Ignacio Police Formation, a urine sample has been taken from Penner, who investigation so far is fingering as the person responsible for the incident. From the investigation's point of view, Mr. Penner is at fault. Yeah. Yes. So, so why is it that police have delayed, so to speak, in charging with you all are sufficiently certain that Mr. Penner, from the investigation perspective, is still at fault for the accident? We are awaiting the results of a um, post mortem examination that is being conducted at this time. Kenny, as he was affectionately known, was on his way home from San Ignacio, where he had traveled on his motorcycle to pick up his salary. He worked as a security guard at the University of Belize Central Campus and was returning to his wife and their three-year-old daughter when tragedy struck. Penner's vehicle crashed into the cyclist, almost severing his right foot and breaking his bones in several places. It was a most gruesome sight and even more traumatic for the family who rushed to the scene. The foot me only broken, you know, bad. It popped off completely from the ankle to the toe. It popped off. One big boss in her head, big boss in her head, like it, the skin just the hang side where you are, and from the next side, one big chap there. This hand here completely broke up. It chest broke up. It jarred and broke up. He gone through a terrible pain, and he pain we so much. When we reached to the Belmopan Hospital, in the, in the emergency room, we the ask and ask question, and I tell them they tend to him because he got a bad head injury, and they don't think he was survived by that. The family is asking for justice in the untimely death of Maivet, and police assured them that it will take its course. He give you a pain where we can to a never forget in our life. This make the third brother get hurt by vehicle. The first one that Ricky Castillo, one vehicle me knock and down, right out up on the same village. The second one that me hing and broken leg. Now the third one, that Kenny. But Kenny get it 
worse. Like he can get it for the whole family. Cause you know, like me pieces. According to Assistant Superintendent Iche, Penner is expected to be charged with manslaughter on Tuesday. Dwayne Moody for News 5.